Today we're going to discuss three different moves that are going to keep you strong while golfing. Golfers typically suffer with lower back pain. And actually a lot of people suffer from lower back pain. So although this video is directed towards golfers, everyone can benefit from these moves that we're going to discuss. So yes, golfers suffer with lower back pain. And that's because the movement that they use is a continual motion towards one side, which creates an imbalance in their body. So the one thing you want to do with each of these moves is do them on both sides. You need to strengthen both sides so that you rework that imbalance. So we're going to do three different core moves. We're going to start off with wood chops. Wood chops are going to be done at different levels. Okay, if you don't have a cable machine available, you can take a piece of tubing and tie it off to a rack or some immovable object. So again, we're going to do wood chops from three different angles. We're going to go from top to bottom, where you take the band and you're going to take it from your, over your shoulder and you're going to go in a diagonal pattern to your opposite knee while twisting into it and then coming back. What's real key here is that you use your arms like a lever. Keep your elbows straight out. You don't want to tuck in. It's not this, it's this. Okay, top to bottom. And then we're going to lower the band down. And we're going to go from, from the sides. And all the way, twist all the way across. Keep your arms out like, like a lever, like we discussed. And we're going to do, you want to do about 15 reps of these. And remember, both sides. So, the third move is going to be from bottom to top. So we're going to go from the opposite knee, and then up and over your shoulder. Again, arms are a lever, keep them straight out, and over your shoulder. From, top, from opposite knee, up and over. Okay? So that's going to hit, again, 15 reps, both sides of your body. So that's going to work the sides of your, your obliques and the sides of your abs. Second move we want to look at is hip abduction. Okay, so we're working this side, this area of your body. And uh, again, if you don't have a rack like we have today, you want to take a band and tie it off to an immovable object. Take the other side, you want to loop it around your ankle. Keeping your body completely upright, bring your leg out to your side. Now the motion isn't going to be like this, it's going to be like this. So we can target here, and you're also going to find yourself stabilizing through your standing leg. Okay? If this becomes very easy to do, what you can do is go into a static hold, where you'll do like about five different reps, call it three, four, and then hold it out there for about a count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and then release. Do a few reps of them. Remember, both sides of your body, so that's hip abduction. Third move is going to be a unilateral bridge, and this is going to get specifically your glute muscles. You're going to lie down, one leg is up in the air, the other one is down. You want to push through your heel and drive your leg up, and you're going to fire through your glute here to do that. And we're going to do uh, 15 reps on one side, and then 15 on the other. Remember both sides. Good. So that's the three moves I want to wanted to demonstrate today. If there's any big takeaway from this, is to do all these moves on both sides of your body. You want to fight that imbalance that golfers get. And anyone that does this, it should always be symmetrical how you work your body. So thanks for listening. We appreciate your, your requests, your questions. Please keep the emails coming. You can reach me by emailing me through my website. It's longevitypt.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks. Keep the questions coming.